Hi everyone, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and in today's Vlogmas I'm going to make some mince pie ice cream. The first thing I'm going to do is gently heat up 600 millilitres of cream and 300 millilitres of milk. Just going to let those gently heat together. Now while the milk and the cream are heating, I'm going to whisk five egg yolks and 180 grams of sugar and a pinch of salt. I'm going to whisk these together. And I'm not going to stop at that bit. I'm going to keep whisking until it's quite pale. So it's looking a little bit lighter there. And that's the sort of color that I want it to be. When you see movement on the surface like that, you know it's time to turn off quick because milk expands when it gets really hot, when it gets to boiling. And you don't want this overflowing. I have had that happen many times and it's not nice. Now I want to slowly add the milk to the eggs to cook them without scrambling them. So I just do a ladle at a time and gently and whisk it in really, really well. This will very slowly heat up the eggs without scrambling them because again I've done it before where I've added the hot milk and cream too quickly and I just end up with hot sweet scrambled eggs which is really disgusting. The more liquid you add the looser this becomes and it starts heating up and then after about four or five ladles of this about about half of the liquid after I've whisked in about half the liquid I will then pour in the rest of it and this bowl I'm now realizing is far too small that's better I never normally use my red bowl for making ice cream so I'm not quite sure why I did that today and now I'm just going to give this a really really good whisking this will help to thicken up your ice cream as well. I think it's because I'm whisking air into this which will help thicken it. I'm not entirely sure. I just know this helps. I'm now going to leave this to cool to room temperature. I'm going to leave the whisk in there and every time I come past I'm just going to give it a little whisk like this until it's cool. Then I can cover it up and put it in the fridge to chill until tomorrow morning. That's when we add the mincemeat and churn the ice cream. This is chilled overnight and now it's time to churn it in my ice cream churner. This has been, this has been in the freezer, it is completely frozen and I'm going to add a couple of spoonfuls of this now and then I will add a bit more once this has churned. There we go and this will churn for about 40 minutes. There we go, that has churned and look at, oh, if I can take that off, this. That is, oh, thick, gorgeous ice cream. Now this part is very messy. I need to try and get all the ice cream from in there into my little tub. Now if you don't have an ice cream churner like this, you can still make this ice cream without churning. Uh, put it put it in a box and put it in the freezer and then every couple of hours you need to take it out of the freezer and give it a really good mix up, really good stir to try and break up some of the crystals in there. It won't be perfect but it will be better than not trying to give it a mix up. I'm now going to add more mincemeat. So it tastes quite nice already but actually I'm just gonna add the rest of this jar just to really give it a nice flavor and I'm just going to stir this through so it should be spread quite nicely amongst the ice cream now this is a little bit too soft to eat right now it's more of a ice cream milkshake I would say so I'm going to put this in the freezer and probably have some uh, for my pudding tonight. And there we have it, some delicious mince pie ice cream ready to be eaten. 
I don't often make ice cream in winter, so this has been a really nice change. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope it's inspired you to maybe try making your own ice cream. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do please click like and subscribe to my channel and tune in tomorrow for my next episode of Vlogmas. Thank you so much for watching.